welcome back. So I'm going to tell you a wee Mayfly pattern. Um, this is the wee fly here. Just going to show you how to put it together. Just a wee bit of fun, really. Just a wee clark. Also going to show you in a different video another Mayfly pattern, which I call the, the Golden Stone. But I'll, I'll show you that towards the end of this video. So the hood in the face is a Camazon B175 in size 10. Um, you can use any thread you want. I'm just going to use a uni thread, 801 red, to tie the fly. Just come in, cut the mill behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to bring our thread down until we're past the point. And then you can remove the, the waist tag, the tail. You're looking some. This is a cock pheasant tail. Now, this has been bleached and then dyed red. So if you really want to get the the colour of your dye and your cock pheasant tails, bleach it. Now, don't bleach it for too, too long. You're looking at, you don't want a thick bleach. You want a, a bleach that, a thin bleach as it's called. I think you can get it in Tesco's. Then I'm looking at this around about twice the length of the hook over the back. We'll tie that the tail in, heading down the hook. What I would say is if you if you have flick thick bleach, sorry, four parts water to one part bleach, but just dip it in and out until you see the the colour of the natural stuff coming out and then stop, rinse. Don't be leaving it in the bleach for too long. Anyway, I've digressed there. The rib is going to be a vineyard, local silver tinsel, size 14, use a silver wire if you wish, and then just quickly take the thread forward. Don't need to worry about lumps and bumps in this guys, the, the body is going to be uh, dubbed. And then work your thread back there, just to open turns against the back. I'm just going to put a wee, like a wee bit of a hot butt on the back. And this is great stuff. This is the, the Antron dubbing box. And we're going to use this nice bright orange here. Now you only literally need the smallest amount of this stuff. You think there's really nothing on my hand there, or in my fin the finger and thumb, sorry, until you actually dub it on, but you don't need loads. Just to give it a wee bit of a highlight at the back. Then the main body. Just the SLF and Fairy Claret. And again, you, you shouldn't need too much SLF. Just remember if you're new to fly dressing, just finger and thumb and just take it the one way, don't go back and forward, always the, the same direction. Once you get it started, you can always tighten up. Now the body haggle, just, this is just a Chinese, cheap Chinese cock cape. I claw it, take a nice haggle off, take away the rubbish from the bottom of the feather, offer it up to the hook, nice tight turns to catch this in, trim away your waist stem, and then you're just looking a couple of turns going the shoulder, I like to do anyway. Now the shoulder of the fly is the top of the body. And then the amount of turns down the body, guys, is really up to you. It's the way you like to dress them in fashion. I usually go for between the three and four. Also depends on the haggle. How many turns you're going to get out of it. Just to there. Just come round with your oval silver tinsel. And then you're looking four turns of the oval silver up the body. Sweep everything back. Bring your oval silver tinsel up in front. 
be favors. Take none of that. Trim away. Break away the tip of the hack with the back. Then you can come in and just bring out some of the the favors that you may have cut down with your Velcro. Sweep everything back, thread to the eye of the hook. Just work up and down here just to get a bit of level base of thread really. And then the front angle, <coughs> just looking at a natural French partridge. Strip away the rubbish. Now the turns of French partridge are it's another preference, really up to you. I suppose it's good to have some dressed sparse, so it's working my thread down, catching in the tip, fold the tip back, work the thread back up, break away the tip of the haggle, and then just come around with your turns of French part reach. Now to me, that would be sparse there. But I like a, another turn on it, just to fill it out a wee bit, just to there, filling this around with my thread. Now I want to fold the stem back, back but I don't want to create any bulk so just keep your thread tight, strip away the remaining fibres on the stem, take that down to the eye. Come in, just fold everything back, stem, and then just build up your head. Now don't be shy of the head on a fly, on a wet may fly like this. Straddle bug, as they call them. Nice and tight, bring away the stem, and then just come straight in and throw in a whip finish. Put your thread tight, throw away your tan thread. And I can bring out the fibres and let you see the type of fly that you get. That's it there. I will fish that in the next couple of weeks. God spurs me. Then I'm just going to come in. We drop a super glue. Just don't touch your your haggle. You gotta make sure that the eye is clean. Nothing worse. Getting out in the boat and uh, can't get a fly onto your cast. And there you go, guys. That's dead simple. And like I've said, tell you before, once you start being able to tie these, you'll just be able to tie anything. Now, that's the next one that I want to show you. So we'll bring it around this way so you can see it. This here, I call this the the golden stone and I've had good feedback I've been telling this the last few years as we fly I've had good feedback from boys using it on the on the corb and shielding and stuff so I'll tie that one for you next so hopefully as I've got something from that guys as always many thanks for taking the time to view the video it's greatly appreciated um, if you like the wee videos that I'm putting together and this is the first time watching one of my fly tying videos please consider subscribing it's completely free um, and until the next time please stay safe enjoy your tying most importantly enjoy your fishing and uh, all being well i'll see you on the next one